So this time, really, you guys asked for it. Dinner is served. <laughs> yeah. What is good? Welcome back to the Flawedcast. I'm your boy, Flawzilla. I'm here with my lovely co-host, Mozilla. What up, y'all? Uh, her voice ain't so sexy today. <laughs> it is not All here. that, yeah, I'm saying it's funny over, like, that's one of the biggest reoccurring comments on the channel that your voice is so nice and that you you should do radio and whatever whatever like you're, you're, this is the perfect job for you because your voice is smooth and yeah. calming and then within a week uh well not within a week but within the same month or no actually a month exactly a month away Yo. your voice does this Yo. you lose your voice like I think crazily i think it's my allergies because i feel fine like yeah. i'm tired i'm we i feel a little weak yep but i mean i don't feel any sick anything so well, my throat doesn't hurt nothing i can't even feel it's weird i mean it's fine it's i fine. think it's allergies yeah i mean it, it happens you know but i, I just thought that that's weird that that's yeah, just you know. one of the comments but uh so yeah you're gonna have to deal with my voice like this for a couple of videos yeah i don't mind it's all right but, uh, It'll be back. Don't worry, everybody. Yeah. But this is the last <laughs> normal place on the internet. And we're glad that you could be here with us today. And you will be too by the end of this video. Guaranteed or your money back. Mm. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop. Oh, every like. Booty. Every like helps. I forgot. <laughs> every every like helps us uh, get engagement. Helps more people see our videos. The, uh, like, imagine if we got even close to the amount of likes that we do views. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, we'd already be at 100k we'd Easy. already be at like 500k Easy. probably but uh yeah anyway please i'm just begging you guys please, please. hit that like button please. you know but uh yeah today's video is officially our <laughs> first thomas soul video yes and it's Thank on you. aoc which we said we would be doing the video on next time because you hate I aoc stay in this bitch yo yeah maybe you can't maybe you don't hate her but you definitely can't stand yeah, the bitch. I can't stand but uh her. Yeah, so we're killing two birds with one stone. We're getting doing getting our Thomas Thomas Sowell cherry eaten. Uh and talking about AOC. Anyway. <laughs> pause. Anyway. Let's get into this pause. thing, man. Pause. Why pause? No reason. But let's get into this thing. Uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway. It. Yeah, stop making it awkward, guys. <laughs> you guys are the ones making it awkward, not us. For real. That was you guys. All right. Uh, let's get into this, man. Word. He's irredeemable. Oh, turn him up. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this dude's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that quick. All right. Ready? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Nice noises. Almost like mine. There's an element where, yeah, there's, <sighs> people are going to have to start paying their fair share in taxes. Do you have a specific on the tax rate? You know, you look at our tax rates back in the 60s, and when you have a progressive tax rate system, your tax rate, you know, let's say from zero to $75,000 may be 10% or 15%, etc. But once you get to like the tippy tops, uh, on your 10 millionth dollar, uh, sometimes you see tax rates as high as 60 or 70%. Those of the left often act as if uh, human beings are just like inert blocks of wood. Or like chess pieces that you can move around on the, on mm -hmm. the chess board to put wherever you want to yep. carry out some grand design. Do whatever you want. But of course, people react to, to these things. Your name's In the early 20s, the tax rate on the top income was 70, 73%. Wow. Uh, the, and, the, and the people making over $100,000 paid something like 30% of all taxes. By the end of the decade, the tax rate on the top had been cut to 24%. People making over 100000 now paid 65% of all taxes. And the reason is quite simple, that when you have the tax rate is 73%, people simply don't pay it. They put their <laughs> money into tax exempt securities yep. and arrange their financial affairs. Fucking right. Yep. So what we're really talking about, do you want a symbolic high tax rate on, uh, on the high income people? And have it not help? Win votes politically, uh, which, the, which the rich themselves are not, not going to pay. Uh, or do you really want uh, more tax revenue coming into the government? One of the big issues hold up, that hold up. That was so, perfect, first so of all. That, yeah, that was already fire. And I've actually never even thought about that because I've never had money to be worrying about taxes and shit like that. But now that I'm trying to make a career and shit, that actually, th it goes back to our conversation of when we said making legislation to make people speak how you want them to speak and call you what you want them to call you 
like making laws that force it yeah you're just asking people to be sneakier with their bigotry absolutely which is basically what you said with the taxes you hike the taxes up we all know that rich people have ways to get around taxes people are gonna be hiding their money so obviously they're not they're gonna do they're gonna go hard with hiding they might pay zero they might pay none they'll figure out a way to pay none you know and (laughs) you're by by raising the tax like he just said raising the taxes it looks high it looks like it's doing something but they're not paying they won't pay them so yeah exactly it makes you look good but it doesn't because i think that's absolutely bullshit yeah but I think in capitalist America, uh, uh, Yo, high taxes like that, you're bugging. Anyway, I don't exactly. If, if if America functioned the way that it should, if people actually cared and like wanted to make careers, everybody people weren't like being victims and knew that they had to work to get to. You know what I'm saying like there was yeah. no not all these all these programs and shit to help people that aren't really helping people. They're going doing different shit. People aren't even using them for what they're for and everything like that. Mm-hmm. If we actually fostered like a work for your shit and Get, make more money as you work harder and yes. be, are smarter make better moves and all you know what i'm saying if we actually had a country like that then i think i think that uh everybody would be pro-capitalism you Absolutely. know what i'm saying like people act like the reason people aren't is because they don't have that kind of drive, drive. to want to get yeah. rich because then if we'll, you, they'll make up an excuse and yeah. for something else yep and that's and what he's speaking of like aoc like that like when he just said you look good for votes that's exactly. bernie that's what exactly. bernie been doing this whole time this nigga's rich also bernie sanders is rich I was, he's so talking about rich. fuck the so rich. rich just like this bitch also if these people that that want oh high taxes tax the rich blah, blah blah like if you actually worked your fucking ass off like my father put himself through fucking college for 15 30 years of school and fucking Stop saying fucking Sorry. every other word. I get so angry about this and worked so hard to make the money that he made. And if somebody that believes in the high taxes and wants all the money given to them, if yeah. they worked for their own money, they wouldn't want to. They would be like, This is bullshit. Yep. I worked so hard for all this money. Why do I have to give so much Facts. of it away? Facts. Why would that's not that doesn't even make sense that's in any an in a brain? Fact. That's, that's an absolute If you fact. work for something, it should be yours. Yeah. I mean, you're I absolutely understand right. taxes. I no, do. no, no. You're absolutely right, though, because people don't appreciate what they didn't have to work for. Yes. You're absolutely right. Absolutely. That's a fact. No it's one, you fair. definitely don't appreciate shit that's given to you no. as much as you would if you worked for that shit. Yep. You don't want no one touching what you worked yes. for. And that is just, that's human. You're like, yep. that's automatic, you know? But they'll take it from mm-hmm. somebody if real they, fast. Yep, it's easy. Give me that check. If I ain't got to work for it, hell yes. And that's the thing. We were the, I, we were I that. was that, yeah. too, you know? Yeah. We learned. But, Fuck that. We learned. Hell yeah. We uh, we fucking woke up. We became adults. Yep. Absolutely. Let's keep going. In our country is that the amount of racism... Oh, I have ice cream, by the way. But no, um, we don't care. You know, with the amount of xenophobia that we're seeing, especially this administration, there's so much language that's disrespecting undocumented people when the fact of the matter is they're the ones who... These are the families and the individuals that are making sure that we're fed. They're often taking care of our children. They are often um, making sure that the, that our workplaces and our homes are. I would never sanitary. let an illegal when take care of my child. Of immigrants- what the fuck did she just Sorry, say? Sorry, not happening. They're keeping a fed and watching our children. And watching our children. No, they sure the fuck ain't. Who <laughs> it, who is letting Im- illegal illegals babies at the gate? Yo, she's a dumb bitch. What is she even talking about? Like disrespect. Yo, okay. If the country says get. Get a fucking uh, green card to live here, yes. and you say no, fuck that. That's disrespect. You're disrespecting Absolutely. everybody in this country who's here right now. Every other country. Can Why do should it? you be able to make money in this country if you are not a citizen of this country? The money should only go around to the people who fucking live here, and <laughs> who are, are who are citizens here. It's a system that we are in, and if we have to fucking make our shit known and have all these numbers and all this shit attached to ours, you should too, bro. Straight fuck out of here. And we were born here. And we, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Straight that's up. That's what I'm saying. That's I don't play that. No. Fuck out of here. You're taking, bro. Mm-hmm. It, minorities suffer from this situation when yes. when from from illegals. Minorities yes. are the ones who suffer the most from this. Absolutely. That's the thing. 
immigrants from Japan to the United States go on welfare, while 46% of the immigrants from Laos do. There Hold on, let's no... run this back. I, wanna, I didn't understand what was just said. Sanitary. When only 2% of immigrants from Japan to the United States go on welfare, while 46% of the immigrants from Laos do, there is no single pattern that applies to all immigrants. Everything depends on which immigrants you're talking about and which periods of history. One of the things about the immigration debate is they talk about immigrants in the abstract, and there are no immigrants in the abstract, as that passage indicates. And we don't know who those people are that, that are here. They may all be PhDs from the University of Chicago, or, in which case they should all stay. Or, or they may, 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 in fact, be people who uh, uh, majored in sociology at Berkeley, in which case is get them all out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to say, like, a criminal, oh, like... Yeah. I know, I, was gonna, I thought he was going to say a grape or fucking... Yo, he's stupid. Yo, he's that was stupid. perfect. That was the perfect setup, bro. I thought he was going to say something totally different. Uh, majoring in sociology at Berkeley, in which case is get them all out of here <laughs> as soon as possible. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> but we don't know. He you know that, that's joke. one of the problems yeah. of uh, so-called immigration I policy. Like we don't have an immigration policy unless we control the border. Absolutely. It doesn't matter what Facts. our policy is. Facts. If anybody who wants to cross the it's border their policy. Cross, <laughs> then our policy is just a bunch of words on paper. Mm. Any discussion of, of people in the abstract drives me crazy because there are no abstract people. Mm -hmm. A yeah. hundred years ago, people understood that. And so yeah. when there was a debate about immigration, there was a multi-volume set of tomes about the characteristics of the immigrants from various countries. Where, where, where do they, how do their kids do in school? Yeah. They had what, the guts to be picky. Yes. yes. Yeah. You they should said, be. We'll take some. Yes. But they better do us good. Yes. That's like, That's they, they set America up to fail. Like yes. with that, with the type of shit like that they talk about, like the, it's like the, the participation trophies and all that shit. Like everybody should be able to come over here, whether you're a fucking killer, whether you're, whether you're, you're a grapist, whether you're a teacher, rocket scientist, no matter yeah. what, you should be over here because this is America. But no, no. no. We have enough of those already here, bro. <laughs> like, For real? No, we should be taking in the best. The best of the best. I absolutely believe that. But Why? then, and, and best of the best, I don't even mean by like, uh, 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 like, like rocket scientists. I just mean people who, who are going to be, who we believe are going to be good based Citizens. on statistics, right? Yeah. We should use statistics if we have them. We should use analytics if we have them. Like, why not? Just throw them out the window and just randomly guess. You're asking for this country to implode. The left don't use statistics. They, they don't. don't they use them. emotions and feelings and then Fucking shit fantasies. implodes and then they blame it on the right somehow <laughs> every time. Well, the thing that we need to realize is people talk about the sticker shock of Medicare for all. They do not talk about the sticker shock of our of the cost of our existing system. You know, what? in a Koch know Brothers shock funded is. Uh, you know, study, if any study is going to try to be a little bit slanted, it would be one funded by the Koch brothers. It shows that Medicare for all is actually much more is, is actually much cheaper than the current system that we pay right now. Is that true? Did a study funded by the Koch brothers indicate that Medicare for all would actually save the U.S. government trillions of dollars? No, it's not true, at least not according to the author of the study. <laughs> at the end of the day, we see that this is not a pipe dream. Every other developed nation in the world does this. She just Why says can't things. America? First of all, no. what earthly reason is there to believe that the government of all institutions Knows can make health care less expensive? It can <laughs> I said know what expensive. they're talking about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He just said healthcare, make healthcare less expensive. I said, what government in the what government can know what the fuck they're talking about? That's what I was figuring. <laughs> he thought he was gonna say, gear less expensive. It can refuse to pay the expenses, which is entirely different. Other countries have gone that route. They have refused to pay the cost of maintaining the health system. And so uh, in places like Britain or Canada, you don't find the same availability of health care yep. that you Absolutely. have in the United States. And we already know you that. Know, something like, something like uh, recently studies show that 30,000 Canadians uh, have gone to other countries for health treatment. Bro, we, even though they get it free of charge in Canada. Yep. And they've got Bro, oh my God. to go That's pay for it somewhere else. And they go uh, because the quality is not the same. If you're talking about going in for surgery, uh, something like uh, a fourth of the people in Canada uh, wait six months or more for surgery. For surgery. Uh, in Britain, it's a higher percentage. 
In the United States, only 5% wait that long. Okay, so yeah, this is something I thought everybody knew that yeah. if you make healthcare free to everybody, then the line for the fucking care will be they're out talk- out yes. the door, and they're, it's going to be way less quality care because they're going to be having to. It's going to be a revolving fucking door. It's just going to be, it's going to be a nonstop fucking yep. line, and like, you're going to be you know, like you just said, six months it, yes. in America is going to be even crazier. Like, bro, yep. we I thought we already figured this out. I thought we knew this. Yo, my grandma always said, if something's free, it ain't shit. Facts. Facts. Watch out for it, bro. Fuck out of here. It doesn't, I just don't even understand. What are we pushing for when you're pushing for that type of shit? Like, that first thing that he said still stands. It's basically for votes. Yes. All of these things that they say are pipe dreams for votes. Yep. It's not, it's not sustainable. It's not even logical. No. Even in, in in the least bit, not, it's not even sustainable for a, for a small amount of time. Any of these things, and 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 I don't understand how they still push these things and people still believe yeah. that it can be a thing. Like, wouldn't we do it if it was the best thing to do? Exactly. What the fuck? Stupid. Like, if it was that easy, people have been saying it for so long. Dumb. You think people just really like, like that just doesn't make any sense, bro. It doesn't. It really doesn't make any sense that that people. <laughs> are still pushing this seriously fucking. and like why are we even still focusing on that like just stop focus on something else because, because we they, know that's not that's stupid because they know what works they know what's gonna rally people up people want free shit people want to spend less money people want to they want more shit handed to them and they know <laughs> you 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 you're basically appealing to a specific group the yep. victims yeah you're appealing to the victims and yep. they love that they do it regularly that's that's all the platform they stand on there has to be victims for their agendas to to work yes in, in order for them to bring down the cost of health care the government would have to operate the system more efficiently than the market does i can't think of anything that the government operates more efficiently <laughs> than the market does the for world real? is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change bitch, shut the, get the fuck out of here you dumbass bitch is, oh my god i'm so sick of this bitch your, your already. biggest issue is how are we going to pay for it? Mm-hmm. And like, this is the war. This is our World War II. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you s- give me. I want to see like. I don't. This get bitch it. just thinks that I don't the world it. is dumb. She's the dumbest bitch in the entire fucking. Yo, I can't. Stand Why does this she? Bitch. She thinks because like it's just like you said. When you when you don't work for something, you don't appreciate it. Yep. She said your biggest issue is how you're going to pay for it. Yeah. Yes, bitch. What do you think? The money doesn't magically go out the window because you think it should. No, they like, just print more. Just the fuck more. are you talking about? Just like you can't it. just do shit for free. Everything takes resources, work, it takes labor, work, fucking resources. All types of things have to have to be put in place and people have to be hired for this shit to happen. What the fuck are you talking about? And a lot of it is not even cost effective. That's she why it's not happening. Know. She has no idea she's just what she's saying, talking about. She just says, okay, this is what... This sounds good. Yeah, this sounds good. Yeah. Let's run with it. Let's go. This. Oh, yeah, this sounds really good. They're going to cheer for this. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my God. It's like Bitch. these days when, like, on the left, the, like, they, 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 they boo the right for saying logical shit. Yep. And the left constantly... Like in in places like this, they go to rallies and shit, and they go and say like some meme quote or like some like Legit. regurgitated bullshit, and then yes. the crowd goes, "Yeah, crazy." She said, "The world's gonna end in twelve years Bitch. if you don't." And they said, "Yeah, we read that too." Yeah, that's a serious. We've fucking... seen that meme as well. Yep. yep, that's a serious thing. Like, how the fuck do you know? Oh explain. my god, explain. are you God? Legit, explain. Ah, damn. But she can't. I think it's a classic example of the uh, need for crusades. Whether it will, in fact, cut down on uh, the greenhouse gases significantly. And whether if it, even and when if it, it does, it. whether that will really uh, be enough. Because after all, we are only a small part of the world. Right. You know, to, 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 uh, to affect the entire temperature of the Earth, it seems quite dubious. Uh, despite the sort of uh, notion that uh, it's a proven fact that man made factors create uh, global warming, uh, there are literally hundreds of people who spend their lives specializing in the study of climate who say, no, that is not the case. Yes, but I've heard that so many times. global warming I've, are doing their damnedest to make sure that those who believe the opposite don't get heard in the public. Yes, yeah. they get About suppressed. Two days. They get suppressed absolutely. every time. And 
I've I've read this too, but I haven't done enough research to actually know if it's true. But I'm just saying it because I've heard it. Yeah. This is something that I've heard. Now I'm just saying it again because yeah. yeah. I've heard it. Repeating. Don't quote you. Yeah, don't yeah. quote me. Uh, that we the the amount the, the 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 effect that we have on global warming and climate change is minuscule to what is just hap to what the earth does itself you know what i'm saying so what is what just happens for climate yeah. change like it's going to happen regardless of what we do and what they're doing is hijacking this movement to, to make, money. make money didn't they say like al gore started that bullshit or something yeah but <laughs> see I, I don't know about that but yeah that's what i'm saying i did hear that too yeah i definitely heard that Bill, uh, uh, Al Gore monetized global warming yeah. and climate change. Yeah. And I've heard that we, there's nothing we can still. do about it. Yeah. I heard there's nothing we can do about it. Regardless, what the world's going to do, what it's going to do. And I just don't even think that, like, what do you, they act like it's for the earth. Like, we're trying to save the earth. We're trying to save the earth. Like, bitch, you can't save the earth. No, no one can save the earth. The earth, you think that you can stop space? We were just about that like, yesterday. what? <laughs> If it's if that's what's happening, it's happening. It's gonna happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you are not. This isn't Superman who can block, like, put a fucking asteroid in the glow in the fucking ozone layer or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> just whatever. <laughs> that's not how this works. Like, it, People are dumb. I just don't understand. Dumb. I just like, and also the re. It's it's not it's not. You can't do it monetarily. Like even monetarily. It, we we can't afford to do it right no matter what yeah we can't afford to do it but also we are also trying to stay the superpower keep up with every other country that wants us to fall apart yeah while we're supposed to just be throwing money out the window like you do you want like this bitch wants this to be dystopia yeah she wants this yes. to be a dystopian post-apocalyptic fucking like I don't understand. That's she's, what she. Every time yeah. she talks, that's what I imagine. That's what she wants. She thinks she's like on the Capitol and Hunger Games. Or yeah, something. She's yes. A stupid. Bitch, yes. She Legit. She thinks she's like such a powerful fucking force. <laughs> but like she's a fucking yo. She's a fraud. Yeah. She's a fucking fraud. She's such a fraud. She's a fucking like dirty. She. she yes. She's. She's. I know people. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. say the name, but I know I people know. like her. Like She's that. a dirty bitch. I say that all the time. I say that every video. I know <laughs> people know like this. We know a lot person. of with a lot of dirty ass people. Yeah, Manchester's full of them, man. For real, says a lot about us. All uh, right. <laughs> I was walking up the. Don't get hurt in the public. About two days ago, I was walking up the steps of the Capitol oh, when God. Representative Yoho um, suddenly turned a corner and accosted me on the steps right here in front of our nation's capital. Accosted me. And. Representative Yoho put his finger in my face. He called me disgusting. You are. You are. He called me crazy. He you are. He out of my mind. You, you are. are. This issue is not about one incident. It is a culture of lack of impunity, of accepting of violence and violent language against women. Fuck you, and bitch. An entire structure of power that supports that. Fuck you, they bitch. Upon and we can't even talk about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That supports that. What did you say? We can't even talk about this, so... We'll just keep going. Because she's... Isn't that what she's talking about? She's what? talking about... What? Is that what she's saying? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that's what she was I talking about. I think so. <laughs> I didn't know that's what she was because talking about. You, this stupid I'll bitch. Tell you after. I thought she said it was like... Like he... It was domestic. Not not domestic, but like man... A man. No, I think... She, uh, 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 being, being aggressive with a woman and, and that every... She's saying that the country's okay with that. That's what something she said. Maybe, but I'm he put his sure. finger in her face, called her disgusting, all these things, and then she said, uh, "The way men treat women, the way women are disrespected in this country." That's right. what she said. Maybe that's what she was talking about. But I know she did try some bullshit about that. Yeah, but I, I don't think that's what she's talking about right now. I think she's just saying that because she's a woman, mm -hmm. she doesn't have to be held accountable for her actions, her speech, <laughs> anything. She said violent speech towards women, like violent actions towards women all these like what are you talking about bitch you are a human being are you can you you can't take people can't say things Yo, to you i can't deal with her. what are you talking about he didn't touch you he said you're disgusting you are you're out of your fucking mind she is. you are like you're bitch. all these things it is what it is you get to call people things all day long For you go real. on your phone and start fucking berating people all the time because yep. they don't believe in your fairy tales like yep. get the fuck out of here bitch 
bitch. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, she's trash. Trash. Oh, it says it right there. Response to Representative Ted Yoho's remarks. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah. You are right. That's what I thought. I thought. <laughs> yeah, no, they yeah. They seize upon episodes, individual episodes, and then they extrapolate that to 300 million people. Yeah, it's a culture. I mean, when in a country of 300 million people, you can throw together a couple of dozen uh, terrible examples of almost anything at Literally. almost any time. Yes. Literally. I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being Hold on. precisely. And that's ex- my bad. I keep. You're good. But that's exactly what everybody's doing right now to get their movements yes. heard. Yes. They're taking isolated incidents and, and making, them making them the exce- I'm exception. I'm making them the rule. Yep. They're making the exception the rule. Yeah. Yes. They're making the rule from the exception, which is stupid not and a thing. impossible. But then people keep buying into it. And that's my fucking problem. People yep. want it's the virtue. Like you're playing on people's. Uh, like people want to pretend to be great people so every chance they get if you tell them a, a, a situation is black and white and if they stand on this side they're this and if they stand on this side they're this yep. and they don't want to look into it they don't want to be they don't want to look wild they don't want to look weird they don't want to they want to be with the right group so they automatically mm-hmm. go with what you say is right and that's from an isolated incident and from an isolated isolated incident you amplify it you get millions of votes yep. or millions of people who are on your side and talking shit about this other party because you fucking rallied them up but that's what's been happening for like the past five six years now like ridiculously <laughs> craziness it's, just, it's so fucking crazy it's really since since trump became pre- well actually it, it was it was happening when when Obama was president, but not to the level that it started happening extent. when Trump became yeah. president. Yeah. When Trump became president, cancel culture became okay. Yep. You know? An OD. Yeah, and it OD'd. Of people more concerned about being precisely, factually, <laughs> and semantically correct than about being morally right. We're raising whole generations. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. Yo, this bitch is crazy. She just said people are more, people care more about being correct than being emotional. Is what she just said. Than than feeling, she said you have to actually be right. She said I'm so sick of people having to actually be right rather than just going when they feel right. She but she threw semantically in there to make yeah. it sound like she wasn't just saying yeah. people care about facts yep. more than fucking morals yep. like your morals can be completely different than somebody else's morals and they are but facts is fucking facts bitch yep. get the fuck out of here she literally just said she tried to pose it as like like it's a like people are crazy for being <laughs> logical legit and they're right when they're feeling right like no. disgusting this person should not be in a position of no. influence or power at no. all at all Then about being morally Right. Morally We're right. Raising whole and then when and then when it comes and then yo, that's a slippery slope anyway. Because Bro, who? even if even if like morally right is is something that can be played with could be wrong to yeah, me. Yes, exactly. And, or I could change I could change it tomorrow and make your morals now yes. be like I it's it's that's a fucking Sliding scale. That's too. That mm, you can't do that. Mm. When you deal with facts, it's the same every time, every single time. And that is a better fucking uh. Like who wouldn't go off fucking measuring facts? stick than anything else? Who wouldn't go off? Facts? Exactly. That's why you go off facts because they don't change. <laughs> That's what? why you go off facts, facts because are called facts for it's a reason. A, it's right for everybody. It's the same for everybody. That's why you use them because then it's fair when you use facts <laughs> because it applies to everybody. Your feelings. Now everything becomes weird and blurry when it comes into feelings because yeah. people don't feel the same, bitch. You're Especially right. Especially how you feel, you crazy motherfucker. Ex- exactly. And like when you just said morals, it, your, yeah. my morals can be different than yours, yes. bitch. Yes. Every yes. majority of morals are different than different than hers. Yeah. Like, so there you go. Proven points. About being morally right. Why she We're crossing her fingers? Whole generations. Uh, who, 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 who regard facts as more or less optional. And they're, <laughs> they're being taught that it's important to have views, and they're not being taught that it's important to know what you're talking about. Yes. yes. It's important to right. hear the opposite viewpoint. 
and more important, to learn how to distinguish whether, why viewpoint A and viewpoint B are different and which one has the most evidence or logic behind it. And go it. with that. They disregard that. Yes. They hear something and they hear some rhetoric and they run with it. Yeah. Get some facts first. Know what you're talking about fucking before you right. start spouting out this kind of stuff. Facts. Yo, facts. I fucking love facts. him. Like, he, yeah. he, he, he makes it. He, he just became one of my favorite people. Yeah. He, like, uh, from what I can tell, He's so relaxed this was too. only, yeah, this was only the first time I've really seen him ever speak. But, like, I feel like he dumbs it down for people yeah. to understand, like, even though it should not be hard to understand, like, yeah. what the fuck is going he on. He makes it, he makes you he be puts like. puts it in perspective. And he has, he has a, a disposition, he has conviction, yes. even though he, he doesn't have to raise his voice, he don't have to yell. He actually talks very soft yes. and very relaxed and laid back and, like, jokey even. Yeah. He, t he has a sense of humor and everything. And it's still, like, you, you understand Fucking that knowledge. he's not playing, you know what I'm saying? Like, he yeah. is 100% dead ass serious and has facts to back what he's saying we got silent. i like that type of yes <laughs> we got silent when he talked because i Legit. was like, i was into what it are you saying yep that's a fact i i see why you guys said you wanted us to react to him so there's gonna yeah. be plenty more. Way more i already have i just like that video that I, that video that just said uh thomas so so will uh debunks black history month facts pushed by the left or myths pushed by the left oh, like i'm nice. definitely gonna be doing that video that's hilarious so yeah like he's I making like he's actually making good content like right? like youtube content bro Hell yeah. so yeah uh good thank you guys choice. for watching man i mean yeah thank you guys for watching good choice to react to to tell us to, i mean for for you to tell us to react to because you said this on the last oh, video oh yeah i did i forgot good choice of the video uh appreciate you guys for paying attention to us little old us we about for to hit real? 100k soon <sighs> you know crazy man it's crazy crazy but yeah make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we drop floss booty floss booty floss booty you couldn't even get that one up i know, I know. that's why i had to say it three times so y'all could hear it for real you've been eating them uh you've been eating them popeyes uh biscuits <laughs> <I'm a dry laughs> with no water yeah. with no drink <laughs> But yeah, remember to always stay flawed. Don't you dare try to play flawed. And if you see me in the streets, then you better say, Hey, flawed. Hey. Hey. Make it easier for me to go to sleep at night. At night. I had a dream that I could do my thing. And everywhere I went, the people knew my name. Some people hated on the truth I bring. But now I use the hating just to fuel my flame. I had a dream that I could do my thing And everywhere I went the people knew my name Some people hated on the truth I bring But now I use the hating just to fuel my blame